Hey guys, it is me, Tisha Michelle with Tan Society. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my video again. So today I just wanted to talk to you about grief, right? Um, I was actually with someone yesterday and we was having a conversation and this particular person was going through something and she kept saying um, a lot of things like, you know, I did this, I did this, I did that. And she was saying how a lot of outside people were influencing her and telling her how it is that she should feel, you know, towards a particular person and what she should do. And it was a lot of like outside noise and, com you know, commotion. And, um, and she wasn't happy about it. And she was like, everyone's telling me how it is that I should feel and what I should do. And it's not that easy. So there was a lot more to it. But what I said to her was, I said, um, it's understandable. I said, you haven't grieved over the situation. And she said, what do you mean, grieve? Like, he, you know, the person didn't die. And I said, I know that. I said, but you can grieve over a lot of things. It doesn't have to necessarily mean um, the death of someone. So she, she didn't get it. So I just explained it to her. And I said, when you are grieving, you're grieving for the idea of something. So there was an idea that she had of, her in this particular situation and then she was shown that that idea no longer existed and once that was taken away from her and not through death when that was taken away from her it was all the outside noise and all the stuff that was going on and she just went boom 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 and she never had time to grieve she never had time to grieve and to process you know that that idea no longer exists and she was really taken back by that because she said she never looked at it like that. That she never, she never grieved, you know, of no longer having this idea that she once thought that she had. You know, and I told her, I said, well, I'm going to give you permission now to go ahead and grieve, you know, um, process this, process the different emotions and stuff. And without the outside noise, you know, just sit there and really... Think about those things and feel what you need to feel so you can then release it. You know, you can accept, you know, what it is now and be able to um, release that energy that she had built up in there over um, a period. Honestly, it had been four years, you know, um, for that situation. It had been four years and she was holding on to it. She never processed it, you know, and she became, instead of grieving, she began um feeling um, angry towards like the outside people and listening to that noise and not ever processing any of this stuff herself you know so that was um I, her words it was an eye opening to her that um you know she really looked at grief as just the fact of this you know someone who um physically um left this earth so um what I want to say to you is what is there something in your life that you haven't um grieved over that you haven't um processed you know, sometimes when people lose a, they lose a job. They lose a job, and that was an idea that they had this job, and they were going to be working forever or years or retire from there, and then someone showed them that that idea no longer existed, you know, but in the, you know, the survival mode, you got to get out there, and you got to hurry up and find another job, and you just go boom, 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 so then you start to have some you know, resentment and you start blaming the company and how they do this and how they do that, well, you still need to actually grieve. You need to process that, you know, that idea no longer exists anymore and process your feelings and, you know, because they're your feelings, so own them and then be, then release that because once you're able to release it, you will no longer have um, um, any of that anger or maybe even if it was guilt, depending on what that situation is. So, I mean, I just challenge you to really kind of, um, take a little inventory into your life and see is there something or a situation or something that happened into your life that you haven't fully grieved and um, give it a little bit of um, attention and when I say attention so that way you can accept it and you can then be able to um, release that energy and um, make space for um, something else. So um, as always, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to find out any information um, about Pan Society or information on me, just click on one of the links below. Until next time, bye.